हेलो हाय एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑन स्किल होराइजन ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल एंड यू आर वाचिंग हंड्रेड डेज सेल्ड फोर सेंट्स ऑन चैलेंज एंड टुडे आई एम हैविंग सेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एंड स्किल होराइजन इज ऑफिशियल ट्रेल ब्लेजर वर्क फोर्स पार्टनर सो वी आर वी आर ट्रेनिंग लॉट्स ऑफ फोर्स ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन टू मेक दैम जॉब रेडी Uh, lots of folks got job opportunities as well so if you or anybody in your circle wants to upskill themselves in sales force or maybe service now so uh, ask them to visit skillhorizon.org.in uh, we are following these three steps learning approach we focus on the concepts we do uh, ask them uh, to, uh, to do hands on exercises and then focus on the real time projects as well so these are the three steps learning approaches so uh, uh, if you want to follow us you can sc uh, scan these qr codes as well for instagram and telegram community be part of our community and this is today's hands on challenge so as i discussed in previous couple of session like we will be discussing about custom settings so <clears throat> in apex we have custom settings there are two features one is custom setting and another is custom metadata type so today we will discuss about custom setting and uh, day after tomorrow like on wednesday we will be discussing about custom metadata type right so i will give you all the insight like uh, how we can implement it so before we implement custom setting we need to understand what is the primary purpose of custom setting and custom metadata type so before i deep dive into these two features i want to recall one feature that we discussed in one of the challenge as well that is custom label okay so we have a feature called custom label right custom label uh, we just need to provide a name uh, the label name and then inside that we can fill some data so that is just a custom label now if i go uh, prior to custom label like what is the need of custom label so generally in our code we do hard code right if you want to throw any error message you can hard code that if you are using any record type id or any uh, any something uh, like you are hard coding in the code so if you don't want to do that so we can use custom label in one of the hands on challenge we discussed about that as well like if if you want to throw a custom error uh, we instead of using instead of hard coding that we can simply we can simply create a custom label and that custom label we can use in the code now if you are creating a custom label let me go to the org and if we go to setup i will show you so if we go to setup and if we search for custom label so when you try to create a custom label so in one custom label we can store only one value if you create new custom label so in one custom label you can store only one value right now what if you want to store multiple values different different type of values so suppose you want to throw an error message so you you want to store that text you want to have a checkbox as well right so two three type of values if you want to store together then we need that many custom labels right you need to create that many custom labels so now if you want to store two three four five something like that these type of values and you don't want to hard code them in, into the code and you want to do that with the help of configuration so beyond custom label we have two features one is custom setting and another is custom metadata type okay we can create those and then uh, we can store the data into those and then those we can use into the code right so now i'm going to show you how we can um, create the custom setting so if you want to create custom setting you can simply search custom settings here okay here we can create the custom setting so you can just click on new and uh, you can create the custom setting now there are two types of custom setting available okay right now it is default hierarchy so a list type defines application level data such as country code this is stored in the application cache a hierarchy type defines personalization settings such as default field value that can be overridden at the organization profile or user level okay so these two types are available in custom setting and that this is very good interview question as well if if you are going for an interview and interview is asking about custom setting so they might ask how many types of custom setting we have in salesforce 
so there are two type one is list type and another is hierarchy type so now right now we don't have any option to select so before we create any custom setting what we need to do we need to search for another option that is schema settings okay you need to search for the schema setting and here you will find an option manage list custom settings type okay so here some help text is also available and if you enable list as a setting type option on the new custom setting definition page so you need to enable this option once you enable this option and if you go to custom settings again now if you try to create a custom setting you will see that option okay we have both the option list and hierarchy right list and hierarchy so let's say i am creating a custom setting named as demo and uh, this object name is basically api name of this custom setting name used when the custom setting is referenced by formula field apex or the web service api so this unique name will be used inside those uh, like apex and all right now just click on save button okay this is how we have created our custom setting now once you create the custom setting you can create fields here so i discussed with you like in custom label in custom label what we can do uh, in custom label we can store one value but here in custom setting we are creating one custom setting but inside one custom setting you can have many fields where we can store the data right so here so what what we are doing uh, we are just clicking on new button and we have different data types available so you can just choose let's say i am choosing checkbox okay clicking on next and uh, here i will be having the label okay so let's say is active clicking on next and then save so this way i just created one field okay i just created one field if if i want to create another field so that is also possible so any number of fields i will be able to create in this custom setting as per the requirement okay so this is how you can configure the custom setting so once you so first step is to create the custom setting second step is to create the custom uh, custom fields inside the custom setting and then uh, you will be able to use them right but before you use them you need to create records as well for custom setting okay now let me click on new button and if i want to create one more field so let's say i am choosing text here i am writing field name as name field label as name save okay two fields i created one is of type checkbox and another is of type text okay now i need to click on manage button so the moment i click on manage button here if i click on new so through this i will be able to create the record so i need to provide the name okay so let's say record one check box is checked and here let's say test test 101 right now again i am saving it back to list so one record i created if you want to create one uh, one more record so here you can type record 2 okay this time i am unchecking it and test 1 or 2 so this way you can you can create the records as well right so two records we created and uh, if we open record 1 i will be able to see the data name is there is active as true okay then we have record 2 record 2 is also having is active false and test 1 or 1 or 2 as the name so this way we can store the data into uh, these custom settings right i hope you are able to understand these things now if you want to fetch these in apex i will be giving you a brief example like how we can fetch after fetching you can store them into the list and then further you can utilize that to process okay so i will give you just brief idea and uh, later on whenever you have any requirement so as per that you will be able to process okay so i am just going to 
okay let's use this one only here i'm going to use so i'm writing list of we created custom setting and let me see the name of the custom setting so custom setting name is demo if i open it so its name is demo underscore underscore c that api name i need to use so here i can write it list of demo underscore underscore c okay i am writing demo list equals to and then i can query so select now here i need to write the field api names so we have two apis is active underscore underscore c i am using that then we have another field that is name underscore underscore c so i'm going to use that okay so these two apis we are having that we are going to query then again from and then i need to write demo underscore underscore c right so this is how i can query the data let me just save it yeah i am able to save so here in demo list mul whatever multiple records you have created all those will be available and now if you want to process you can implement a loop so demo underscore underscore c let's say d colon and here we can write demo list so you can write d dot and then is active a name so this way you can fetch those so let's say i'm writing system dot debug active equals to d dot is active underscore underscore c and system dot debug name equals to d dot name underscore underscore c right so this is how i am showing them so i will be testing this i will be running this through anonymous window then log will open and we will see the results in the log so this is how we are fetching the data into the apex yeah you can see is active false test 102 then is active true test 101 this is how both the records we are able to query here right so through custom setting what we are able to do what we are able to achieve so through custom setting you are able to store the data uh, through configuration and in apex you can query that and you can do some processing now what are the real time use cases so real time use cases are when we deploy our apex code into the production so in production generally we won't be able to modify our apex we always do modification in the sandbox and we deploy it to the production now since you are not able to modify the code and you have hard coded some value then you won't be able to change so instead of hard coding what you can do you can use custom setting so in custom setting we can have multiple fields in those multiple fields we can store the data and then it can process right so this is the benefit of using uh, custom setting okay so this is what i prepared for you for today and uh, in upcoming like uh, uh, i will be having one more session that session will be uh, based on custom metadata type so in that session i will be comparing both okay i just gave you an idea i will be comparing both so that you have an idea like uh, how custom metadata type can be implemented and then we will do the comparison as well okay so this is it for today and uh, do follow us on instagram and telegram community and if anybody in your circle wants to become job ready in salesforce and service now so just ask them to visit our website lots of courses are available we are running them online as well as offline so whatever medium suits you you can just join those courses and you can become job ready okay so this is it for today thank you bye everyone